hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'll be showing you how to make a waterfall jacket using this stretchy fabric it is really really stretchy and heavy so first off i'm going to fold it into two and then fold it into two again as you would a circle skirt basically so after doing this, I'm then going to measure um, one side, one of the folded sides and the other side. So I have 28 inches on that one and this is um, 22 and a half. So I'm going to be doing a gradual increase in length. So I'm starting with 22 inches. I mark 22, then I increase to about 23. I continue to go on like that, 24, 26, and then 27 was the last length i went with so after that i'm going to join the points yeah and then i'm going to cut it out this is really really very very simple This is um, like a quadrant of a circle. I'm going to open it up like this, as in a semicircle. So the midpoint, that's, that's the midpoint. Then one side will form the top and the other side will form the bottom. So to the side that will form the top, I'm going to be um, marking some inches off. And this is dependent on how you want more or less like the color of this jacket to fall some people go with 17 inches but i will be going with 13 inches which was apparently okay for me at the end of the day so at that 13 inches i'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement divided by two which is 6.75 inches And then at that point, I'm going to be marking the length of my arm sky. My arm sky is 8 inches. And then I join the point as well. So I divide my the length of my arm sky into two. That is 4 inches. On. And then I'll be marking 3 inches on each side. So I'll be able to form a circle where my arm will pass through and I decided to use a French cuff to do that. You can definitely use um, free hand to draw this circle and the 3 inches I gave on both sides, you can actually make it smaller to fit your um, arm. So using this French cuff actually gave me a bigger circle than I thought. So I used um, a blade to cut it open a little bit and then use my scissors to cut out the markings that I have made on the first part of the fabric and then I used that as a pattern to cut out the second hole. And yeah, that is my armhole. And because this fabric drapes very very easily and is heavy, so I decided to use um, a bias tape to give it a more structure so that it stays put. And not just four so i put uh, my bias tape right sides touching and i sew it um, all the way um, down and then at some point i have to i had to cut it out and make sure i aligned it properly to the rest of the fabric i was supposed to sew yeah like that and when i aligned it I sewed the excess off on the bias tape and I had to open it so I'll be able to do the proper sewing. So I opened it and I sewed it by the necessary allowance. So yeah, I cut off the excess and then sewed the rest part. So when I'm done sewing right sides touching of the bias tape to the fabric, I'm going to now turn it, so, sort of like close the uh, raw edges of the bias tape and the fabric on the inside and then I sew all the way down. 
remember my fabric in the beginning my fabric gave me 28 by 22 and a half you can decide to make this equal by going with 28 by 28 or whatever um length you choose so this is it guys i'm done sewing um the bias and if you notice that your arm sky is too big you can kind of like form a kissing pleat underneath the armhole area is actually going to give you it's more like a style detail you know yeah that's it guys if your armhole is too big do this instead so it fits you so here is a, a video on how it looks without um a belt and with a belt it is super super easy so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye guys